Hey, what's up? It's me. You probably worked that out because you can see me. Welcome to episode four of the 50 kilowatt supermoto video. Build, build video, video building, we're building a bike in this video. In this episode, we're gonna be getting it ready for registration. We're gonna be taking it out to its first track day. I know it's been a little while, but we've had a lot to do and I had to get better after my crash, so I'm better. Look at this. In the last video, we showed a preview of test riding it. We got up to powder coating. I think we just finished some speed tests to make sure the bike wasn't gonna blow up. Since then, we've finished the powder coat. We've installed the dash, we've installed the gauges, we've got all that working. We've fitted the shock cover and we're just about to do the graphics. So the decals are here now. They've arrived from Ringmaster and we're gonna put them on now. We've got a whole bunch of decals here ready to go. We're gonna be putting them on all the existing fairings and we've got some custom ones coming for the battery boxes. We've also lock wired everything. The brakes, rear bolts, peg bolts. Hey buddy. Everything's lock wired and ready for scrutineering, so we're getting closer. So we've got our decals, heat gun, some Windex, and our plastics. Really hard to do with one hand. Honey, hello. Someone knew I shook his hand I felt this feeling that I couldn't understand I felt him deep And I'm like, damn Stop what I'm doing, mama I have to change my plans, plans Don't know nobody like you graphics were done I started work on everything to get it registered and passed for roadworthy there was quite a few things to do and I'll take you through them but first we pass look at here registration number plate oh it's really dark hang on To get this number plate, we had to install the dash and have that certified. Install all of our idiot lights up the top here. Indicators, high beam, low beam, hazard lights. Had to machine up a mount, put a proper key in it. Um, indicators, headlights, everything had to be done to the national guidelines to certify it. Um, we ran all the wiring. We had to install the uh, the horn. We had to install the horn. We had to install the horn. The horn. Stand. Braided wires. These battery stickers. Kill switch. New tires. Front and rear. We had to put a shock guard on there. So it's got speedo, battery voltage. Battery amps, phase amps, and the trip meter speed, and which mode the motor's in. So, as you can see, I am absolutely stoked. We've finally done it. The bike is registered, it's roadworthy. We can ride it, we can ride it to the shops. And tomorrow morning, we're going to take it to Supermoto of Champions. It's down in Stanthorpe. It's going to be absolutely crazy. We're going to see if we can get the bike some track time. It's mostly for tuning, there's going to be a few bugs to work out, but I am excited to see how it goes and get it out there and really open it up. So seeing as I need all new gear, because when I crashed the bike, the paramedics had to chop all my stuff off, I had to head down to mxstore.com.au. I got the, the JT Racing boots here. 
The buckle was all ground off on the road, but apart from that, they were fine. I just went down and bought new buckles for about 30 bucks, and they've been great ever since. So I got the JT Racing boots. I got the, uh, the RST Kevlar riding pants. I got the Alpine Star AST Air uh, textile jacket, and then I upgraded the rear, the back armor, and the chest plates. It was pretty cheap to upgrade it, and definitely worth it because now it's got full armor all around and for the helmet I got another aero the one that I was wearing in the crash was um, an aero as well and my head was the only part that didn't get damaged but it did crack the helmet all down here and the arrows were super super light and really really amazing to wear probably the lightest one of the lightest helmets I've ever felt for gloves I got these uh, light leather gloves from fist I may or may not have already had uh, a couple of stacks in them, but they have held up really, really well. So we have our gear, the bike's ready, everything's ready to go. Tomorrow morning, we're gonna get up at 4 a.m. and we're heading to Stanthorpe for the very first shakedown of the bike. It's at Supermoto of Champions in Stanthorpe. It's gonna be wild. Let's do it. So it's 5 a.m. Um, we're just getting ready to take the supermoto to its first track day. We've got a three and a half hour drive ahead of us. Trailer's ready to go. And I'm not quite ready to go. But we'll see how it turns out. It's been a crazy day. Um, we got a bunch of notes to do when we get home. Uh, we got to dial in the bike, we got to drop the suspension, we got to run a little bit lower pressure, we got to straighten our uh, rear wheel, and we could probably run just a little bit more power. Um, since I started the videos, I forgot to mention that they've just added electric bikes to the Australian motorcycling manual. We can run electric bikes now, which is amazing. The power has to be limited at 45 kilowatts, so I've turned this down and it's been running about 40 kilowatts today. So I'll turn it back up till it's exactly 45 and then it's eligible to compete uh, in the competitive classes at the Australian Supermoto. So uh, thanks to Motorcycle Sportsman of Queensland, um, Supermoto of Champions, um, Carnell Raceway, Stanthorpe, and Scotty for letting us run. The bike is definitely better than its rider. So we're back from the first track day that the Supermoto's ever been to. You know how the light was dodgy before? You want to see what is even more dodgy? Have a look at this. <laughs> I had such a great day. We did exactly what we tried to do. We learned a lot of lessons. And we came away with a whole list of things we've got to do on the bike. Which we're going to do next episode. 
In the next episode, I'm going to put some stunt brakes on, we'll go for a street ride, we'll tune the suspension, and we'll take it to Archerfield for a track day. Click here to see the last one, click here to see the next one, click down here to subscribe. It's not going to be a long time this time, we've got a bit of a preview right here.